Yo, sometimes I can't keep up with some of this jargon. What is a hoochie daddy? This is the first time I ever heard that type of terminology. That's definitely gotta be some down south or maybe up north joint, cause that ain't no New York City lingo from what I've heard, unless it's some 2023 joint. Hoochie daddy, according to Urban Dictionary, a hoochie daddy is a manhole or drunken addict male who sleeps around with different women often. Also, there's a term called hoochie daddy shorts, which dudes be wearing these little jort jort six inch joints showing their moose knuckle to apparently get massive amounts of attention. I never heard of the term hoochie daddy until it was brought to my attention. Not saying that somebody called me that because that would be inappropriate. I don't know why anybody would call me that, but allegedly somebody did call me that. So I'm thinking to myself, self, a hoochie daddy being a man oh, what type of fragrances speak hoochie daddy isms? It doesn't seem like hoochie daddy has any kind of age range or limitations or genders, colors, tastes, flavors. You're just a hoe. So I got 10 fragrances that I personally feel would be hoochie daddy status. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto the 10, maybe possible 11, 12, 15 hoochie daddy fragrances that really just speak to you being a man. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A. There go my hoochie daddy. There go my hoochie daddy. I'm assuming. Is that a song or did I just make that up freestyling? I think I'm going to throw an honorable mention there for the low budget or damn near broke individual who still wants to smell outstanding and get a ton of attention, and that would be any Axe body spray. You should never ever in life wear that joint, but that definitely screams like young hoochie daddy or broke budget hoochie daddy type flow. I don't know if I've mentioned this story in the past. I had the audacity, the nerve, well over 12 years ago. I used to work in an office setting and I went out for lunch and I had this cardigan style sweater and this Mexican spot, the smoke and everything just attached to the sweat and I hated the smell. I went back into the office and it was a smell that permeated the room because everybody can smell food on me. So I went back outside, I went to the pharmacy and I bought an Axe spray. I think it was called something Phoenix, the Blue Phoenix or Rising Phoenix, something along those lines. And I just legit people down the hall, through the corridor, through the doors, we're smelling that fragrance. Like I got so much negative attention on that scent, I was beyond embarrassed. You should never wear it, but the longevity and sillage will absolutely be there on those scents. I would never wear one. They're probably flammable. If you fart, you might burn and die. Next one. So the first Hoochie Daddy fragrance that comes to mind would be anything Versace Arrows. I don't care what formulation you're talking about, what flanker. Versace Arrows screams Hoochie Daddy vibes. It's that mass appealing minty scent profile. I don't even own that joint anymore. I don't own any Versace Arrows because it's just not my character in taste. I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance. It's just something that I've kind of outgrown. And the only reason I would buy it again is to either sell a decant or or showcase it on the channel just for content use. It's not a fragrance that I would reach for or wear at all. It's just not my type of vibe, but it totally screams mass appeal, hoochie daddy scent profile. But if you're in an urban city, that's a scent profile that a lot of shorties are gonna recognize because it's that fucking popular for them hoochie daddy motherfuckers. Next one. Another one that screams hoochie daddy vibes is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans. <laughs> I mean, it's on a ton of fragrance ladies lists for a reason. It has that sweet, ridiculously mental brain piercing scent profile that I cannot stand. It seems to be like a lot of them hoochie daddy fragrances. I just don't rock with it. Jean Paul Gaultier fragrances across the board at this time do not rock with my skin at all, but that's one person's opinion, which can absolutely be wrong because it's a very popular scent profile that apparently a ton of women like. If you on your man horse shit just throwing your mangina everywhere, this might be a scent profile that absolutely speaks to you. For me, it makes me absolutely nauseous and I want to scrub my skin with a Brillo brush. Next one. I mean, one of the heavyweight champions of the world is Paco Rabanne 1 million. That is hoochiedaddy.edu because you're gonna learn what STD he has today. When I think of like OG 1 million, I just think of guaranteed like herpes and syphilis. Somebody took a penicillin shot in the ass yesterday while wearing 1 million. I know several women that want nothing to do with any man who wears that fragrance. Fact. There's no way you can't think of a dude wearing those four and a half inch like moose knuckle jean shorts walking in the streets just to get some attention with them ultra tight tank tops, them old school 50 cent joints just so they could show their bra like muscles that they spend 14 hours in the gym and shooting testosterone and anavar in their ass. That's one million, next one. Dior Sauvage. The original EDT is Capitan Huchidari Manputa. It's a great fragrance. Does the job, 
does it well, it's not going to die anytime soon. Yes, there's a ton of people that are exhausted with this fragrance as well, but it does the job and it does it very well. Even the EDT concentration has amazing performance and longevity, and it's kind of the ultimate signature club night going out fragrance, mass appeal, attention grabbing vibes. Of the six and a half percent women that watch my channel, I know two of you have been cheated on by a dude wearing Sauvage, and that's a fact. He definitely boned your sister and possibly your aunt, and on their behalf, I apologize for all men. Next one. That Carolina Herrera bad boy, that little lightning bolt, that screams man pulled out all day. I like that fragrance. It's nutty, it's chocolatey, it's dark, it's sweet, it's kind of sexy. The bottle looks a little tacky and kind of juvenile-ish, but it's all about that scented juice, right? That juice is actually quite sexy. I do like the Left Parfum concentration, which has a little bit of that green kind of hemp marijuana-ish kind of scent profile. Feels a little bit more mature and still man whore-ish, but the original one is definitely representative of a douchebag with a backward hat and multiple chains on. Next one, Versace Dylan Blue. We got Versace twice on this list and Dylan Blue is in the lineup of the blue man whore fragrances. It should be like a blue man group of man putas when it comes to the space of fragrances. That's a great topic for videos, like the blue man group of fragrances, like Versace Dylan Blue, Dior Sauvage, and Blue de Chanel. The three blue balls of whoreness. Good fragrance also gets the job done. It's citrusy, aquatic, bright, sweet, sexy, blue-ish, very easy to wear can be worn into like work situations, but it's definitely more going out party style bar and lounge type vibes. It's still relatively inexpensive if you buy it on the gray market and it really does the job well. So it definitely screams man whore vibes for somebody who's looking for a blue aquatic fragrance that has all the mass appeal and as popular as any of the other blue fragrances that gets a bunch of thumbs up by a ton of people. Next one. Spice Bomb. Vicky and Rolf, ultra spicy to get them chichis worked up in the space. Never a huge fan of it myself either, except the infrared version. The infrared version works beautifully off my skin and it really flows, but the original joint is a good tobacco leathery fragrance with a bunch of black and red pepper sprinkled all over it, which has ridiculous performance as well. Even the original joint still beast mode out there, but it definitely screams like man puta all day. Hoochie daddy certified. Next one. I previously mentioned before, but I gotta put Blue de Chanel EDT in there. Still has a corporate freshness. It's maybe slightly more mature than some of the other blue fragrances. I really wanted it when it first came out, but then literally within that time frame, there was like two or three dudes that I personally knew that had gotten that scent profile already. And I was like, I can't wear what they're wearing. And it slowly became a snowball effect that everybody around me, especially in the office type setting, was wearing it because it was such an attractive scent profile. I gotta give respect where respect's due. When that fragrance first came out, it was all class, but it started trickling down into the hands of the fuck boys. And when the fuck boys get to it along with hookah, driving loafers with no socks, and extra tight nut hugger jeans with multiple holes in it, that just screams blue to Chanel in this time. So sad, but use a hoochie daddy papo next one. Eve Saint Laurent, why? EDT, that's young Thundercat Hoochie Daddy. That's the dude getting up in the space, navigating the Twitch world and all that shit, bagging and rizzing bitches up or whatever the fuck the term is. That's what I think their entryway to like Hoochie Daddy-ism is available in Send Profile. Mass appeal, very childish, but hey, the shit works for some. So if that fragrance really speaks to you, then you that dude, next one. And finally, staying within the Yves Saint Laurent space, I would say this is for an older Hoochie Daddy, a more mature, a seasoned Hoochie Daddy. Trickling into the space of possibly sugar daddy, and that's Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Lome. Man, there wasn't any fragrance content created that you could have watched that this wasn't on 30 or 40 videos, including myself. Sexy, powdery, just a beast of a fragrance in its time that we have all forgotten about. We need to bring that shit back. Something about the way the woods and the cardamom hit in that fragrance still hits to this day. I just haven't worn it in so, so long. And I'm a throwback hoochie. I was definitely a puto and proud of it. But now I'm a humble, you know, like good Samaritan citizen of the world. So these are 10 certified hoochie daddy scent profiles that you can absolutely count on any dude wearing will potentially cheat on his chick. Let me know what Hoochie Daddy fragrances you would consider to put into that list. Leave it in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to keep on sharing this content so more people can join uh, the Bull Spray of Hoochie Daddy Club. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who
fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you